Thanks so much for joining me on Dynamo BIM. I'm Dana, and on this episode of Dynamo Shorts, we're going to be improving upon the last script we worked on, the sheet count script. We are going to be including some Revit 2025 and Dynamo new features by incorporating not only the active model sheets in the sheet count, but also including the element in elements in the Revit links. So we'll include the linked sheets in that sheet count. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually come into our schedule and tell it to include elements and links. And we can see there that now we actually have a total of 135 sheets. So let's go ahead and open up the script that we worked on last time so that we can edit it to include these sheets and update our count. Now here within the script, before we start sorting and grouping our sheets, we not only want to grab the sheets within the active model, we also want to grab linked sheets, just as we've done within our schedule. Now here within our Revit library, we can come down under application within document, we now have a new node called get link instances. And we can see that this is actually going to take the input of document. Right in the same section in the library, we can actually find the current document and plug that in. Now, I don't want to run this script quite yet because it's not complete as is. So I am going to come over where I am setting the parameter value where I'm updating the sheets, right click and freeze this node. This will allow me to run the script without setting these parameter values back. So when I run the script, we can now see we get our six links. To get all of the sheets within each of the links, I'm going to come down under Revit Elements. We now have a section for Link Instance where we can grab all elements of the category of this Link Instance or Instances. We'll place this guy and we'll see that not only it takes the Link Instance, but also our category, which we already have here. I'll go ahead and remove it from this group by holding Alt and dragging out of the out of the group. Once I wire this and run it, we should get a list of lists. The list being each of the sheets within each of the link instances. Now I'll essentially just want to create a list of both the active model sheets as well as my linked sheets and flatten that list. I can then start to work with all of those sheets so that I can count them and create a range from them. So we'll create a list of not only our active model, all elements in category, but our link instance, all elements of category. And we'll flatten this list will automatically flatten based off of the default value. So it will give us just a flat list of all of our all of our sheets. We can see this by just clicking run. We now have those 142 sheets. But that's not how many we want, right? We want to filter down to just ones that appear in the sheet list. So we'll now start to work with these flattened sheets. Do a little bit of cleanup here as I always do. We will go ahead and group the linked and active model sheets as well as just for the safe, you know, for nice keeping here, we'll group our link instances.
Now we can go ahead and do the sorting and filtering the way that we need to, to create the range from all of our sheets. The problem, however, is that just like in Revit, if I come into my schedule, I cannot update a sheet that is not architectural through Dynamo or through Revit itself. So it's going to provide null values because it cannot write to those sheets. So we'll go ahead and unfreeze our set parameter by name, run the script, and we'll see that we get 135 total as our denominator. And once again, all of the sheets that are linked have been omitted. We cannot write to them. And once again, we can see we get some null values within Dynamo, some warnings that the set parameter by name operation failed because once again, we cannot write to elements that are not in the active model. This is just Revit, typical Revit behavior. We could of course do additional filtering uh, prior to setting the parameter value to these elements to only get the elements within the active model. But we would still need to maintain that number that we created. I'm sure there's a bunch of clever ways that we could do that. We're not gonna do that today, maybe in a future short episode. But we will talk about if we wanted to filter the links, maybe to just one link instance. Maybe we only want to grab structural, for example. So we can go ahead and we can right click or use the search to find element name element.name so that we can get the names of these link instances. Now we'll see when we do this that we actually get a name that we may not expect. We get not only the .rvt but also some additional information about the link within the name. So rather than using an equals to find the name as we would expect it, I'm going to do a string.contains. And this will allow me to use this list of strings and search for a separate string value. So we can say it contains structural. We could, of course, build in whether we want to ignore the case or not. I'm going to go ahead and put false, leave false as the default value. And we should see when we run this, we get a list of Booleans, true and falses, hopefully only one with true. So we will need to ensure that our user or ourself in specifies a string value that is unique to that link structural is of course unique to that link. But if we did just RVT, all of them would pass, right? So we need to make sure that we're being specific enough. We can now, as we have in many times within this script, use a filter by Boolean mask to filter down our link instances to only the ones that pass our test, just that structural link. And at this point, we can now say, I just want to get the sheets within this link, the 12 sheets within our structural. And now we can see that our total number of sheets is 67, both written to Revit. However, it is 60 because that is how many are included in the sheet list or appear in the sheet list. Thinking about how we can make this script the most functional, of course, I don't wanna to have to necessarily create two scripts, one that works with just one single link and one that works with all of the links. So we can come in and we can put in a conditional statement, an if statement with a Boolean and we can update this Boolean title to say filter links. 
go ahead and right click make this a group I like all of my inputs to be in a pink group we'll make this is input this of course will be our test and if we are filtering links true then it will be our filtered list that just gets the one with the name that contains this the string value we specify we'll also want to make this a pink group and input that says specify unique portion of Revit link instance name if applicable right if we're filtering at all our link instances we could just be using our entire list of link instances that Revit finds so that would be our then false value would be the get link instances that entire list of them and at this point we can go ahead and take the result of our conditional statement and feed this into our link instance input so that it will take whichever the single link instance or the group of link instances and we can certainly test this if I run it we should see the same 67 if I switch it to false where it's not filtering the links we should go back to the 142 within all of the link instances clean this up just a little bit we'll filter link instances and we can see here that we now have a script that not only allows us to create a sheet count from a link but it also allows us to filter our links so that we can just do it based off of a single link instance. Thank you so much for joining me today on this episode of Datamo BIM. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune in to future episodes. Thanks again. Need help with Dynamo workflows you've seen on Datamo BIM or any other Dynamo training or assistance? Our sponsor, BIMXC Network, has you covered. Send an email with your requests as well as your contact information to info at cadmicrosystems.com. In addition, BIMXC Network holds meetings to bring together bright, curious, engaging people across various disciplines and countries to exchange design and construction technology ideas. BIMXC Network hosts presentations virtually through the online platform as well as in person at locations along the East Coast. For information about the BIMXT network, please make sure you go to LinkedIn and search for the BIMXT network group. By joining this group, you'll get information about upcoming meetings, information about previous meetings, including links to the recordings of those meetings, as well as any information about meetings that could be happening near you.